Hi, I'm Chris. Hi, I'm Abby. Welcome to Board on the Floor. You didn't say it with me. Well, Hi, I'm Chris. Hi, I'm Abby. And welcome, welcome to Board on the Floor. floor. And so today what we're going to do is we're going to go through the rules and the gameplay for Takinoko. And so Abby's going to take it. Tell us what we're supposed to do in this game, please. You have to flip these, put them there, and you take three of these cards. You look at them, you don't let anybody else see them, and you, you like, let's say on this, the panda, the panda has to eat three pink bamboos. You, you try, you, you try to complete that, and if you complete it, you get five points. You, you go on this, look for pink, make sure it doesn't have like, like this on it, or any of that stuff. You then you grow, many bamboos you need, move the panda, eat it, eat it, eat it. Knock that over. Maybe stop slapping the table. Yeah. If one of us has completed nine cards, then that and starts the last round. And you get this card, which gives you two points, and it's, it's the Emperor. That will indicate that it's the final round, and so the other player has one more turn to try and get some more points. But by completing nine cards first, you get the Emperor card, which gives you an extra mm -hmm. two points. And these are the kinds of cards. There's the Panda. The Panda has to eat whatever's on that card. So each of the cards, at the beginning of the game, you get three cards. And these are the types of cards that you could try and accomplish to get some points. So you could either eat bamboo, grow bamboo, or lay tiles in a certain way. <laughs> now, of course, all the tiles that you lay have to be irrigated. Yes, but if they're touching like the center piece, mm -hmm. then they're automatically irrigated because there's water there. Or if it has something like, like, like this on it, then it's also irrigated because it's a picture of water bamboo in it. And this one means like if the gardener, this guy, goes onto it, it grows twice. twice. Yep. And this one, it, this one, if you put this down on a tile, the panda can't eat on that tile. It's like normally for like these cards and whatnot. And we have these player boards. So like do different things and you get these two token every turn you get two actions mm -hmm. and so you can't do the same actions but they're listed here and that's why you only get two tokens so it'll tell you if you choose this one and this one though if you roll the die yeah. you have the, the option to possibly die. do the same thing twice mm -hmm. if it, but th you don't do it on the first round you only use the weather die like second round this one means you get an extra turn this one means it, you can irrigate wherever because it rains. This one means you can do the same action twice. This one means the panda gets frightened and you have to like run to whatever bamboo, doesn't matter. This means you could take one of these and put it somewhere. And the question mark... is a wild card. You have to pick whatever you want. Yeah, wild card. You do what you want. Mm -hmm. and so the, the options of what you can do are pick up three tiles, pick which one you like best, put it down. Or you could irrigate. Where's that? Right over here. Or you can move the gardener, or you can move the panda, or you can pick up cards. I know you might be like, but I don't want to pick up cards because I want to complete the ones I have now. You need to complete more cards than your opponent. Yeah, you want, the cards are what's going to give you the point. And the, yeah. and the challenge in this game is completing cards to get more points than the person you're playing against. So this is a competitive game. So we're playing against one another. That's right. Fight. And uh, this is how like how much bamboo is in your panda stomach. You just put it in like. When you when your panda eats bamboo, you collect it here. Yes. If you have irrigation lines, so like these water kind of. If you want to irrigate, you can use these, or you could also store them on your mat. Same thing with these tokens here. If you don't want to use them right away, you could just store them on your mat and use them in your next turn, and it doesn't count as an action. And so you want to show them how it goes by just starting to play? Yeah, let's do this. Okay. okay, so pick up cards. At the beginning of the game, each player gets a mat. They get these custom tokens so that they can see which choices they make every turn. And they get three cards to start with. So you get your cards. three. I'll get my three. Oh, yes, yes. Very nice, very nice. Oh, God, it's going to be difficult. The tallest person has to go first, and that just happens to be me. Lucky, lucky. So the first round, we don't roll the weather die, so we'll just put it aside. But starting next round, the first thing you would do is roll that to see if you get any kind of special 
thing you could work with for this round. And so for my first turn is I'm just going to pick up three tiles and I get to choose the one I want to put out. And I'm going to refer to my cards to see which one I should do. And you place them at the bottom of the stack. And because it's touching the tile, what happens? Interrogation and it grows. We put our first stock of bamboo. Now for my next turn, I am going to grab another card. And now it is my turn. For my turn, I'm going to move the gardener right here. So it grows one. And my next turn, I'm going to pick up. Can we do this for three? Boom. And these guys, God, oh God, I don't have big enough hands. Cool. Perfect. Now that it goes back to me, I'm going to roll the weather die for the first time. Oh. Knock the pin. And so I got the sun, which means I get an extra turn. And so I am going to grab three tiles again. I'm going to grab another card. And then I'm going to get some water and keep it. Ooh, lightning over here. Good job. You ate it. Wait, hold on. Let me see this. It's very good. Very good. All right, now my turns. I'm going to. Move Gardener over here. Can he just stay over here? No. Where do you want to move him? I'm going to keep him over here. Well, okay. since they're both yellow, if he moves here, they'll grow on both of these. Deal. Anytime the Gardener moves to a tile that's touching another tile of the same color, and they're both irrigated, bamboo will grow on each one. Mm -hmm. And for my next turn, I will pick up one of these. Now this one, because it's one tile away from the pond, it isn't irrigated, so bamboo doesn't grow on it right away. The panda got scared again. And now I'm going to grab three tiles. Now each time you decide to do something, Maybe before you do it, you should refer to your cards to see exactly the move you should be making. Mm -hmm. Move my panda here and eat this guy. Alright, back to you. Well, did I... Perfect. Boom. You're good twice. Give me two of them, please. Thank you. This is not irrigated. It is. And I've now completed this card. I have now completed it. Yes, you have. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's put it down. Boom. One card completed. For irrigation, you actually have to have your water leading up to the new tile and then going across it. Yeah. So if it's just touching it's the corner, it doesn't work. It has to actually go up to it and across it. So you have to irrigate twice usually to bring water to a new tile. So I get to choose one of these special tokens. I'm going to pick this one and hold on to it. And then I'm going to pick three again. <laughs> And because this has the fertilizer it icon. It has to be touching two of them. You are correct. So I'll put it over here. And it's going to grow twice. Then I'm going to move the gardener here. And I'll grow two more times. One, two. <gasps> so 
So what is the strategy you're going to be using in this game to try and beat me? Confidence. Confidence is your strategy? Yes. That's cool. It could work, like in poker, I guess. was probably the worst thing I could I could roll. Probably not. We're just starting the game. There's still a long way to go. So when you place a token, you're only allowed to put it on a tile that doesn't already have one. The max you could have on each tile is one token. Move the gardener. Gardener. Has right to here. move in a straight line, remember? Over here. The gardener was here, he has moved here, because he could only go in a straight line. So he wouldn't be able to move, let's say, to this one, or to this one. He could probably just move this, or to that. Now, because this is also touching here, it would grow. This one doesn't grow because it's not adjacent to where the gardener is. So you get one here. And one over here. And for my next turn, I shall move Mr. Panda over here. All right. I will take an extra turn. Pick three. You bored? No, I'm tired. Partied hard last night, did you? Yes. Yes, we did. Did we? We stayed up till like. Yeah, five. you stayed up late last night. And for some reason, I didn't go crazy, which is very strange. You're not a kid anymore. Okay. You're a young woman, right? So I got that there. And I'm gonna move the panda over here to eat this. I'm gonna grab another card. Alright, your turn. I'm going to roll the die. I'm gonna move the gardener. Grow this, please. No one. So you grow this one. Grow this. You grow this one. I but have... look, 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 look. You also grow this one twice because it's it's adjacent. That means it's next to it. I have completed this card. Boom, completed. Okay. Nice. And then move over here. Okay. Pink, please. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Pressure mark again. I'm going to pick another turn. How many cards do I have here? I think there's a limit to the number of cards you're allowed to have. So we made a mistake because on the last round I picked another card, but the max you're allowed to have in your hand at once is five. So I'm going to put one back to the bottom. Then mm -hmm. I'll just have lost that extra turn. I'm going to move the panda. Eat this. And now that'll complete one of my cards. I'm, I'm ahead of you. Yes, you are. You're still ahead My of me. My cards and points. And now I could also... I can see your cards. Well, stop looking. Payback. I'm going to pick three. I'm going to place this guy here. So that will grow like so. Since I can get another card now, I will grab another card, and it's going to be this one. All right, it's your turn again. Die. Rolled. Lightning. Right there. Run. Panda's gotten scared. Where's he gonna go? For my turns, one, I will move Panda once more again. Over here, eat this. I have now completed this, and my next, my last turn, I'm gonna pick up a card. Panda, no problem. Oh, you're doing really nice. Mm -mm. You're doing good. Mm. I don't have a lot of points. <laughs> All right, let's grow some bamboo here. Let's pick up. Three tiles. Let's take one here. Grow some bamboo on it. And then move our gardener here. And then grow 
one more here and one more there. Roll it again. Okay. I was like, it was question mark, then it was wind, then it was sun. Question, question mark. mark. I'm gonna lightning. Eat my completed. You got another one? Magic. I'm gonna get this. And I'm going to move Panda. Actually, no, I'm gonna move Gardener over here. Go, please. Right. And grow again. So I will grow one here. And that will complete this one. And then I will move the panda to this, eat that, and that will complete this one. And then I will grab another card. Hey, right, your turn. And oh, perfect. I'm gonna garden right here. You can't. You gotta move. <laughs> so you're not allowed to garden or have the panda eat on the same plot that they already are on. They have to move. I'll pick up a golf card. If you already have it, like, on... No, nope, you have to do it again. <sighs> so if you get a card, the only way it works is if you get a card that is a, a gardener card or a plot card, you can do it again. But you can't do one that you've already had to eat a certain amount of okay, bamboo. I'm going to move over here. Just... Sure. Perfect. For my last turn, I shall move gardener over here. All right. That next one I can grow pink that I need. I really need pink. Lightning. My panda's scared. Where am I going to move that panda? Oh, no. Move that panda over here. Eat that. Then I'm going to grab a gardener. Uh, how many do I have? Four. I'm going to grab a fifth card. All right. And what can I do? I'm going to move the gardener here. Grow me some yellow. Hey, right. What is it? Sun. Means you get another turn. That's all what I needed. So, isn't this supposed to have a bamboo on it? Yes, we ate it. It'll only grow again if the gardener goes on it. You could always garden first and then go. If you want something to grow here, you can move the gardener. Gardener. I need to get the pink. Flip it. Next turn, card pick up. Uh, you again. Yeah, one more turn. Because you got three. Move panda over here. Fine. And I have completed this. Alright, good job. How many do I have here? One, two, three, four, five. Two. Yeah. Five. Uh, it's just the right amount, if you ask me. Alright, so let's roll. I got the wind, so I could do two of the same thing. I'm gonna move the panda here, eat that. And now I have completed this. Move the governor here and grow some bamboo. Now it is your turn. <laughs> Just because you don't get what you're planning for, it doesn't mean you can't figure out a way to do something else. This is already irrigated. You don't need to put water there. Save this. Mm -hmm. Panda. Eat. No. Eat. Pick up card. Mine. 
Very nice. Give another one of these. I'll just put it, I'm gonna put it here. And then I'm going to pick three. One, two, three. Watch your pad here. Success. This has bamboo on it. And then I will grab a card. Go for it. Come on, come on, something good. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna move these over here. Then pull over here. Let's see my three panda eatings. You got a hungry panda? I'm gonna move the gardener because I need this. Move garden over here. Good. Move garden over here. Give me paint, please. Grow in here? Yes. Did you just move the garden twice? Yes. One here, one here. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna grow these here. I'm gonna move the gardener here and grow it again. And then I'm going to move the panda. Actually, I'm gonna I'm going to pick up the tile. And that will grow some pink, and that will also complete that one. So I'm gonna move out the gardener over here. Okay. Water, please. Good. Now I'm gonna move Panda Dude. Oh, I was gonna say, I'm gonna move him over here. You but... can't. It has to be in a straight line. And then for a third turn, I pick up another card because I'm going crazy. Why do you keep picking up panda cards? Is that a strategy? Yes. You find those Pandas are normally the easiest, but you now find that eating the bamboo hard. is the easiest thing to do. Yes. Yeah. I always find the tiles are the easiest thing because they may already be out there, and also the gardener. But different strokes for different folks. Wow! Yeah. Clouds again. Now, if you run out of tokens. Like we ran out of the water token here. You could actually just use one of these blank ones and it could be whatever it is you want it to be. It could be whatever. So I'm gonna grab a water token. I'm going to move this gardener here again. And that will grow here and grow here. Like this. And then I will have completed this one as well. And then next I will move the panda here and I'll eat this guy. Now it's your turn. Question mark. Which one are you going to pick? Give me. Mine. I completed this. Next panda over here. Nine finished. Awesome. We're tied. We got six and six cards. I think you got more points though. I have. You don't have to add it up now. I'm not adding it up because I have no idea. Panda goes there. Panda has eaten. But what has a panda eaten? One of each color. And then. So I did. Panda, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to pick up three tiles. And uh, one more turn, I'm going to grab a card. All right, go for it. Lightning, let's see. I'm going to yeet myself over here, eat this completed card. Okay, now for my actual turns. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move the panda over here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Take the entire bamboo, no. And then I'm gonna move the card and over here. Grow, please. Let's see if I can catch up to you. Lightning. What should I make this panda eat? You know what? I need that. 
because I knew you wanted it. I hate you. No, yeah, I know you do. Yeah. Take 100. one of these. All right. Let's then I'm going to move the panda here and eat that. All right, your turn. First, I rolled off the die. Training. I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it right here. <laughs> ha! Ultimate comeback. Eat this. Okay, now I thou move the gardener over here. Growing some yellow bamboo. I need it. I do. All right. Rain. Where should I grow some bamboo? Where, where, where? Bless you. Here. In the jungle. <laughs> So I grow some bamboo, and then I'm going to move this guy here, eat that, complete this. So I'm at eight. If I complete one more, it's the last round. So I'm going to grab one more card. What should it be? Let's take a chance again. Hey, <laughs> my strategy has not worked in this game. Yes, but mine... Seems to have been working a bit. Is it? All right, your turn. Mm, doesn't matter what I get. This is very nice. Thank you. No you gotta way. grow somewhere. I guess pink. I don't really need it. I don't even need it. But and now I shall move over here. Eat muncha, muncha, muncha. Mm -hmm. Finished, completed that. All oh, right. My next turn, I will grab a. Card. I'm using your strategy. Wait, is this one completed already? It might be. This irrigated? This one here? No. Oh. If yeah, you can't because it already has a to like a symbol on it, so you can't place your water symbol on it. You can try to irrigate. You just need two. But I guess that's your turn, right? Or do you still have a turn? No. Does it? Yeah. All right, scared panda. Where are you gonna go? Let's go here and eat this. Why not? Let's grab a card, see if it's going to be something that's good. Hey, and it is. Guess what? I got this guy. So this is the last round. So I have a turn. I get to finish my turn, and then you get to finish your turn. What should I do? You get it. I can't. I don't know if I can complete any of these. I know. I never used it. Use it. No, I don't want to use it. Why not? Because it's just going to get, might just give you something. Why not? I'm going to pick three. It won't do anything, but why not? Do, do, do. All right, this is your last turn, and then we're going to count up exactly to see who wins. I hate this. I hate this. You were born a loser. You'll die a loser. Exactly. Can't do any. You can pick up another card, you know that. This is complete. There you go. I'm at nine. Okay. And then for... Wait, I still have to grow something somewhere. Oh, you didn't do that yet? I'll grow here. Okay. Uh, and then you got one last move. Last, you know what? Eat this. I don't even need it. Is that that? Yep, that's that. Now All we'll right. put down the cards we have. No, now it works. The way it works at the end is we count our points. If we tie, then we count the number of panda cards we have, and that'll determine who what? wins. So I think we also have the same amount of panda cards, but let's count our points. So and then we, we count this, and I would win. No, well maybe at the end yeah. if there's it's still a tie. Okay, let me see. You count yours, I'll count mine. Oh, okay. <laughs> Forty. I have forty as well. You have six panda cards. I have six panda cards. I win. But I have a water. Uh, yeah, but I have this. Uh, I win. In I would say. Face, I would say it's a tie. No, I would say I win. I don't know if that's an I official win, rule. I win. I win. 
in your face. I don't know if that's an official rule. It's official. I'll give it to you only because I feel sorry for you. No, no, I win. I win fair and square. Bro. No, I don't think you do. Yes, I do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna write a letter to the manufacturer and see what, who would win in this situation. We'll have to wait a few months to get it back, but I'm sure they'll side with me. <laughs> no, they'll side with me. I'm the younger person. Okay, so what are some things that you think people should focus on when playing this game if they want to possibly beat their father? Well, if you were trying to beat your father, I would say just keep picking up cards until you find something and try to complete it. Yep. And also, if he ever grows, like let's say he grows right here because he needs like one yellow. Go eat it. You're like over here. Eat it. Play very competitively. Yes. Don't, don't let your opponent ever get the upper hand. That's Abby's strategy. My strategy is just, just, keep, picking just, pick, up just keep picking up plot cards to see if those patterns have already been laid out. Last time when we played against, when the whole family played, that's what I did at the end. But I don't think I won. I think Margo won. Yeah, right? Margo won. Hmm. So maybe yeah, my strategy Margo will never work. Sister. Margo is uh, the seven-year-old younger sister of Abby. And yeah. she ended up beating everybody when we played this. Oh my god, when, once we were doing a game night and we played Monopoly... She had a winning streak for like 13. Yeah, she she won that game every time we played that game. Every single time and when and I think it was like Mummy when she finally won Margo got so Margo was upset. Margo is a very sore loser. You're a very sore loser as well. I'm not a sore loser. I I just I'm just saying that I won. Yeah, you won this time, but <laughs> last time you lost. You lost against you lost against Margo last time. Yeah, right? but so did you. Yeah, but so I'm not a sore you. loser. I yes, I, I like losing. <laughs> okay. All right, so family friendly. I think the game says eight plus, but we did play with Margo and she's seven. And this game lasted, I would say, probably about 45 minutes or so. That's what it says on the yeah, box. So, yeah, usually when we play it, it's under an hour. It usually doesn't go much faster, though. If you do have more players, then it's fewer cards to signify the last round. It so, with two faster. players, it's nine cards. With three players, it would be eight cards. And with four players, it would be. Seven? That's right, seven cards. It only took you what, 15 seconds? Yeah, it only took me like 13 minutes to figure that out. Yeah, so the core game only comes with the, the core game. The core game. <laughs> your hair is all over me. Because <laughs> I was doing this. Yeah, earlier. so it's like your hair is just shedding and like landing all over <laughs> I'm me. I'm shedding. When Abby finished her school year, she got a gift, and that gift was this the expansion for Takinoko, which is the chibis. This comes with Mrs. Panda, and, and now I think, we just have to find the little children. I don't know if there. I think All there might thieves. be. I think there might be cards in here for the children. I'm not too sure yet. Yeah. We haven't. We haven't really opened it to play it. But what we're gonna do is figure out how it works. And in our next video together, we're gonna show you the gameplay for the Chibi expansion of Takinoko. But for now, what are we gonna do? Say goodbye, maybe. Yeah. Thank everybody for watching. Thank Hope you. you enjoyed it. And I'm Chris. And I'm Abby. So thanks again for hanging out and we'll see you next time.